Am I really gonna be wearing oud this summer? Y'all know I have been trying to really get out of that whole frame of mind where you know I only wear certain fragrances for a certain seasons and etc etc and I really want to like break that habit I want to get out of that habit number one is because I have so many fragrances and I really want to start wearing my fragrances I don't want to just limit them and the second reason why I'm considering wearing oud this summer is because I heard that oud is great to wear in the heat. This is what I've heard from a lot of different perfumers. Supposedly when you get out in the heat, in the humidity, the oud just expands. It carries. It just really amplifies and turns into this beautiful seductive note and that is what i'm going for so i really have my mind set on wearing oud this summer but i gotta be very very intentional i think i'm ready to do it i think i'm ready to expand i think i'm ready to broaden my horizons and wear some oud this summer and I have five fragrances with an honorable mention that I'm going to show you guys in the video that I'm really thinking about wearing this summer. But before we get into the video, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Amanda. Over here, I love to discuss all things fragrance. So if you're someone that is into smelling good, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells. The first fragrance that I have in my hand is from Kayali. And I feel like out of the five that I picked, plus the honorable mention, this by far is going to really be the safest, in my opinion. And this one is called Oud Gasm Smoky Oud 07. I did receive this fragrance in PR, so it was gifted to me. And y'all... I know people talk about the longevity when it comes to Kayali fragrances, but I really want you guys to know that this one is a banger. Lasts all freaking day. Don't mess around and spray it in your clothes. Honey, you will be smelling this fragrance for days, I promise you. In this fragrance, you have rum, saffron, geranium, cedarwood, patchouli, and oud. It's gorgeous. When I first smelled this one, I said to myself, why didn't she release this one first? I can't even remember how many fragrances are a part of the Oudgasm collection. I want to say she started off with four, and then this was the last one. So there is five fragrances, if I'm not mistaken, part that are a part of that collection. But y'all, she literally saved the best for last. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. If you are a oud lover, like just in general, you will really enjoy this fragrance, y'all. I'm gonna spray a little bit because it's been a few months since I sprayed this fragrance. Cause I can't even remember when I first got it. It may have been January or February. I don't know, child, don't quote me, don't quote me. But it's been at least three months or four months since I've sprayed this. And it's so good. Immediately, I pick up the rum. Now, y'all remember sugared royale patchouli, vanilla sugar royale patchouli. Y'all know I get so tongue-tied with the names of the Kayali fragrances. But y'all remember that fragrance? I have it. And immediately when I smell sugar royale, I get this very intense boozy note it smells very much like liquor well in this one the rum is like very smooth it's very toned down it's very mild it's like maybe they went back to the drawing board and was like mm, let's tweak this rum note a little bit like less liquor okay 
and I love that in this fragrance. It's very smooth. It's not loud, obnoxious, or anything like that. It's really, really good. Definitely picking up on the spicy saffron. It's not over the top. I'm getting a green. Uh, I'm getting something green from the geranium. Definitely getting the woods. Definitely getting the patchouli. And when it comes to that oud, baby, she is like butter. Okay, she's smooth leathery almost i mean this fragrance is gorgeous the more it stayed on my skin the better it got i'm not even on front i'm not gonna hold y'all this one is my number one out of all of them i thought tobacco oud was gonna be my number one because y'all know me i'm a spicy leathery oody smoky type of gal okay those are the notes that i really enjoy a lot and that's another reason why I don't want to wait until it gets cold. I want to enjoy my fragrances no matter the season, okay? Like, honestly, I want to enjoy everything. But yeah, I can't wait to wear this in the summertime. Oh, I think, oh, it's going to eat. Man, it's going to eat, okay? It is going to eat. Leave no crumbs. I, I, I don't know where I would wear this. I mean, if I'm being honest, I probably would wear it as an evening scent. I'm definitely excited to wear this one again. It is Oudgasm Smoky Oud 07 from Kayali. You guys ever heard of Andrea Mack? Uh, she is a perfumer. Well, she's an artist that decided to go into perfume. And I can really see that artsy uh, side of her in her fragrances and her bottles. Um, I would consider her brand to be more, I don't know, because she has this artsy thing going on. I would say indie, but it does have a bit of a niche vibe. Very unique um, fragrances. I don't think the fragrances are made for uh, the masses, okay? They're not made for the general population, you know what I'm saying? These, these fragrances are going to be for those of you who are very unique souls like myself okay where you can appreciate something different okay and this is the very first fragrance that i've had in my collection and it's called supernova by andrea mack this was gifted to me from twisted lily i will leave everything down below in the description box the bottle is so unique it's so different oddly shaped a bottle um, but you can see the juice in this bottle you can't really tell from the lighting um, and my camera but even though the bottle is black you still can see your juice so please use my code I still have it um, I feel like I have lost a few codes because people don't really use them like that anymore and if you you guys know I've talked about Twisted Lily before this is not a sponsored video by the way but I do want to make mention if you are someone that is into sampling fragrances where you're not just ready to buy a full-size bottle, especially when it comes to Oud, go to Twisted Lily's website. I love to buy samples from them. They are the sample queens over there, honey, okay? So even if you don't use the code to buy you a full-size bottle of whatever, at least you can use it to buy your samples. In this fragrance, you have cardamom, cinnamon, you have saffron, um, those are in the top. In the middle, you have cedarwood, cypress, and lavender. In the base, you have leather, vetiver, and oud. This is really gorgeous. Like, I don't even have to really spray it because I can smell everything coming from the nozzle. But what I love about this fragrance is, in my opinion, I think it does lean a bit masculine, but it, it, it almost is on a, a thin line, right? It's like, hmm, kind of smells like a man, hmm, but kind of doesn't, you know what I mean? And I love fragrances like that. But what I get from this fragrance is like this very soft, almost skin-like, almost. It has a very soft ethereal I don't want to use the word light but it is it's very soft to me soft musky 
oud with a little bit of spice that lavender is there to sweeten up the fragrance a little bit I mean it is just really really gorgeous gorgeous I pick up on the spicy saffron again it's not over the top we're talking about some heavy notes here and you would think like oh my god cardamom saffron woods leather vetiver like this thing is gonna be like explosive but it's not it's very it's very mild mannered okay and very sexy and very just soft that is the word that i keep going back to because i don't know how else to explain it to you guys y'all know i struggle when it comes to leather i'm gonna keep it honest with y'all sometimes leather and fragrances come it can come off very synthetic and smell very fake but in this fragrance it smells so realistic almost like a leather bag or something like that that is what i get from supernova and to be honest with y'all oh my god it's like girl am i about to stick it all the way up my nose <laughs> i can't wait to wear it this summer i can't wait like i cannot wait to really see how this fragrance is going to perform in the heat i think it's going to be off the chain so yeah again this is supernova by andrea mac this is Faces of Francis, and I absolutely love their bottles. Look how gorgeous the bottle is. It's just really, really cute. Very aesthetic pleasing to me, and I think this is, I, I, I love the bottles, okay? Again, this is called Faces of Francis. I think when I first talked about it, I called it Faces of France. It is not Faces of France. <laughs> it is Faces of Francis, okay? And I love this fragrance. Now, never have I ever had an oud fragrance with notes of like a zesty lemon and pistachio, okay? So we are talking about, let me give you guys the notes first so you can get an idea of what is in here. You have saffron, you have aldehydes, you have pistachio, driftwood, juniper, oud, styrax, styrax ambroxan, vetiver, and cypriot oil. I love the fact that the ambergris is not coming off fishy, okay? If you've had any experience with ambergris, sometimes it can smell like the bottom of an ocean. I don't like that. It's been a many a day when I have gotten rid of fragrances that had that baby star kiss, uh, king of the sea, bottom of the ocean smell. Because I we don't do that over here, okay? We do not do that over here. That ambergris has to be right. It got to be spot on. And it definitely is in this fragrance. I'm picking up on the earthiness, right? I'm picking up on the juniper and the cypria oil. Both of those have like a slight green uh, smell to them. Kind of maybe almost a little herbal. I'm jumping from here and there. Stay with me. People say aldehydes smell soapy. I don't get a soapy aldehyde. I don't get soap from aldehydes. Okay. People say aldehydes can smell soapy fatty fresh um reminiscent of laundry okay now we're talking maybe i pick up a little light laundry smell from the aldehyde in the top i'm definitely getting that soft spicy note from the saffron but mostly what i'm getting is a zest get that nutty pistachio and i get the oud of course which is very smooth in this fragrance and i get a soft spice from the saffron it is gorgeous definitely one that i feel like i could wear to work especially if i worked in an office setting where i had like my own office or my own like area cubicle girl whatever <laughs> um i could see myself wearing this of course i don't see myself really going in with the sprays for any of these fragrances, right? I'm definitely gonna keep my spraying in mind, okay? But yeah, I can see myself wearing this 
in the daytime brunch okay um again work whatever i'm doing in the daytime i can see myself wearing it, it doesn't come off really as an evening scent to me it's giving me more daytime white t-shirt jeans casual wear uh feel you know casual friday at work yeah uh, i'm feeling that okay i'm feeling that Shout out to all you guys that get to wear jeans on Friday, honey. I can't remember the last time. The last time I wore jeans on Friday, it was Go Western Day. And I hate that. I hate it. I wish I could wear jeans every Friday. But yeah, this is a jean and t-shirt type of moment right here. Faces of Francis. And it is beautiful. I cannot wait to wear it this summer. This this one, I asked for this fragrance. I'm not even going to lie. Y'all know that... Um, I have an affiliate link with House of Siage. I hope it's a link down below, child. But I don't get a percentage of that. It's just a link where they keep track of sales or whatever. I just want to make sure that I'm very transparent with you guys when it comes to stuff like that. But um, I haven't received anything from the brand in a while. So the last fragrance that they gifted me, which I requested because I love Wednesday adams i love that movie i can watch that movie a hundred times and i'm talking about the new one that's on netflix but yeah this is called wednesday from the house of siage and y'all look how beautiful this bottle is like baby come on yes they really really put a lot of work into this bottle i think it is simply gorgeous beautiful one of my favorite house of siage bottles whenever they make fragrances and they have a theme behind it like mickey minnie um bugs bunny tweety bird um uh, harry potter things of that nature i think that is so cute but i'm also very curious to see how they craft the fragrances like in in their creative mind what Wednesday would smell like and I would say this fragrance definitely depicts her personality okay she this fragrance is a banger it's coming in hot like it is it's 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 special it's special and I think you should definitely be a lover of rose if you're thinking about getting this fragrance. In the top, you have pink pepper, elemi, saffron. In the middle, you have two types of rose. Just plain old rose, and then you have Turkish rose and magnolia. In the base, you have patchouli, vetiver, and argwood, which is a.k.a. another name for oud, right? A bit of a spray because it's been a while since i sprayed it and when did i get this fragrance i think i may have received this around the holidays i'm thinking i'm thinking i did but yeah y'all she is dark yeah she dark honey she's mysterious i get this dusty rose a heavy dusty rose like a deep plummy rose even though there's no plum here she is very dark this is i know turkish rose is a pink a pinky rose she may have a little bit of pink in her she's heavy okay heavy on the rose the black pepper is coming all the way through where i'm like am i about to sneeze or what it tickles my nose a little bit so I'm definitely getting that black pepper. This is resinous, maybe from the elemi. I'm getting the saffron. I'm getting the patchouli. Very, very, very earthy, honey. It's earthy. I mean, deep down. This hand is going deep down into the earth, okay? Mother Earth. And just coming up with just <laughs> the most earthiest earth smell you can smell in a good way okay in a very good way but yeah she's earthy y'all if you're not a lover of rose spicy notes patchouli or oud 
I don't recommend this one. It's too pricey for that. And I don't even know if it's still available. I know these type of fragrances are usually limited edition. So I don't know. But yeah, I, I would definitely reserve this one for evening wear. I don't see myself pulling this one to wear um, on jean and t-shirt day on Friday to work. Like, I just don't. Like, this is giving me more of business suit and not even going in with the sprays. Maybe three or four sprays. That may be cutting it close, okay? I see me wearing this at night cute sexy dress like the plan is to like my intention is to turn heads and break necks with my outfit and my fragrance i'm wearing wednesday i'm wearing wednesday i think this is a beautiful fragrance i think they did an excellent job in really like building up that character in this fragrance so yeah i give it a 10 out of 10 it is so pretty Definitely the type of rose that I would wear because I'm not into the frou-frou, girly-girly, sweet, sweet rose. I'm into rose like this. Earthy, spicy, deep, dark, mysterious. Yeah, this is my type of rose for sure. And I think it's great. Again, this is Wednesday by the House of Siage. Okay, this next fragrance is from the House of Diato. And the perfumer uh, behind these fragrances is uh, Paolo Terenzi. If you guys uh, are familiar with uh, Tiziana Terenzi, that is her brother. So he is the nose behind this fragrance. I don't know if he's like the owner, creative director. Maybe. This may be his brand. But I definitely know he is the creator of this fragrance. And uh, this is called 7 Plus 1 by Diato and I absolutely love the bottles I think they are gorgeous unique um, in the description that I read regarding this fragrance is like these bottles are made on purpose they are made by an artist like art was the main focus uh, when creating these bottles and I think they did a really good job this the bottle alone is heavy it's weighty and then with this little piece on top super heavy in this fragrance you have notes of saffron raspberry nutmeg cardamom black pepper lime blossom in the middle you have spun sugar cedar rose leather guaiac wood sandalwood in the base you have musk cypriot oil cambodian oud Tonka bean, alibanum, ambergris, and patchouli. Let me show you guys. This is what the bottom of the bottle looks like. And then this is the sprayer. Okay. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit of a spray. Now, right away, this fragrance reminds me of like a Middle Eastern fragrance. It really reminds me of a fragrance that I've always wanted to add to my collection. And now I really don't have to because I own 7 Plus 1 by Diato. And that fragrance is Oud for Greatness by Inicio. I've always wanted that fragrance. But once I smell this one, it totally puts me in the frame of mind of um, Oud for Greatness. They're not dupes, in my opinion, but they have that same DNA, that same oud, sweet, uh, soft, spicy type of vibe going on. Right away, I pick up on the saffron that's in the top, that black pepper, so this is definitely giving me all the spice, okay? I actually pick up on that raspberry. It's tart. It's not necessarily sweet, okay? And I am definitely getting that spun sugar. In my opinion, that is what's really giving this fragrance like its sweetness, okay? Also could be getting some sweetness from... Nah. Yeah, I feel like the spun sugar is definitely giving it its sweetness. But there are a lot of notes here. I'm not necessarily picking up on everything. I may also be picking up on that leather. I'm picking up on, on all the heavy notes, that's for sure. That is for sure. The leather is very smooth. It is really nice in this fragrance. 
I'm getting all the woody notes. I'm definitely getting that oud. I feel like the oud could also be adding to the sweetness of this fragrance. And if you guys have any experience with oud, sometimes it does have a little bit of a an animalic smell to it, but that there's a sweetness to that animalic smell. I know they don't go together, okay? You're thinking, what? An animal smelling sweet? Trust me on this one, okay? Trust me. Trust me. For those who have experience with oud, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? I may not be translating it very well in this video, but all my oud lovers, y'all gonna feel me on that. Y'all know exactly what I'm saying. Because oud can come off smelling a little fecal, okay? <laughs> and dare I say not that I've smelled um, not that I have tested and smelled fecal okay that's not that's not what we do but when it comes to oud it can have a little bit of a fecal smell a woody smell and a sweet smell okay but yeah I enjoy this this is top tier this is creme de la creme this is elevation opulence it's giving money yeah this was giving it's giving expensive it's giving you smell expensive what do you do for a living okay that's what it smells like and oh my god i cannot wait to wear it i cannot wait to wear it again this is seven plus one by diato the last one is my honorable mention and this one is called Kingmaker, and it is from Chris Collins. It's called Kingmaker by Chris Collins. Let's talk about the notes before I get into it. Um, in this, in, in uh, fun fact, the same perfumer, Hamid Marathi Kashani, um, also did if not all of the oudgasm fragrances, some of them, okay? So this man knows his oud. This perfumer is all about the ouds, okay? In this note, you have cardamom, pimento, bergamot. You have, in the middle, you have gurjan, balsam, rose petals, lavender. In the base, you have oud, patchouli, and sandalwood. I'm not gonna spray this fragrance because <laughs> I've smelled it before. I actually got a chance to uh, smell it for the first time last year, last October, when I went to New York for an event uh, with Chris Collins. Y'all, now, now, okay, this is a high quality oud, but I will have to be honest, when I smell it initially, it does have a very pungent, uh, oud smell okay very pungent very much pow in your face okay very strong very strong and the thing about this fragrance because I have worn this fragrance twice like two days in a row back to back just so I can just experience the fragrance I needed to see what it made me feel like when I wore it when I first spray this fragrance I get those heavy notes immediately like the patchouli and the oud are are in the base but they are very prominent in the opening of this fragrance i don't get any of the top notes and middle notes until this fragrance has really dried down thoroughly and when i say thoroughly i mean a good 40 minutes to an hour that's when i get the cardamom that's when i get a little bit of the bergamot that's when I get some lavender, okay? That's when I get it. And, and this is the only fragrance that I've really experienced that um, type of thing happening with me where I get all the base notes first and then everything else and the dry down. I appreciate this fragrance more when it's dried all the way down. This fragrance does lean very masculine in my opinion, extremely masculine. In my opinion this would be the type of fragrance where I would definitely have to layer with this one I just need a little bit more sweetness with this one okay it's coming in hot 
it's coming in strong and I need something to cut it. Like I need something sweet to cut that ooh. But y'all, when I tell you it's like nothing that I've smelled, okay? This is definitely an authentic oud fragrance. It's not for the lighthearted, okay? If you don't have any experience with oud, stay away from this one, okay? Right now, for now, stay away from this one. Find you another one, okay? Go back and watch this video again and find one of those, okay? This is for the big boys, okay? Big, big, big guns. Like, we're talking about people that have been probably wearing oud all their lives. Those are the people that really, they would say, oh, this is mild. Like, this light work, girl. Like, what? Yeah, for me, yeah, I, got, I need something to cut it. <laughs> I need something sweet, like a heavy, heavy, heavy gourmand to cut through. Whoo! Just I appreciate Chris for creating this fragrance because he is a oud lover, and is definitely coming through in this fragrance. Like this is Chris all the way. Like this is him 100%. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to spray something sweet with it. But again, this is called Kingmaker by Chris Collins. So who's with me, who's with me? Are you going to be wearing Oud this summer? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what Oud fragrance you are rocking. Let me know what you're excited about to wear this summer. I have been going down this whole summertime rabbit hole situation. Uh, I am not ready for the summer, but guess what, she's gonna come whether I'm ready or not. So <laughs> I might as well just get ready, right? period if you are a lover of fragrances please hit that subscribe button make sure you turn on your notification bells that way you'll be notified each and every time i upload and you don't miss out thank you guys again for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you are having a pleasant day and i hope you are smelling good doing it i will see you in the next video bye